Hey guys, it's Kyle from Cairo Raps here, and I just looked at my YouTube channel and seen that I have 30 subscribers, which is amazing, and I have 2,000 views. Thanks for everyone who subscribed and liked and watched my videos. Uh, you guys rule. Um, so let's get straight into it. Um, it's all about math views. So create a new project in Xcode and make sure it is a single view application. We're going to name this map view for the purpose of the tutorial. As always, I will be using iPhone as the device and no longer be using storyboards. Save this to the desktop for easy access. Next, go to build phases and open up link binary with libraries. Select the plus button. Scroll down until you see map view dot framework. Sorry, map kit dot framework. Add this to your project and drop it down the uh, into the uh, frameworks file file uh, so you guys can uh, be organized. Next, open up the dot h file. Just under import UI kit slash UI kit dot h, we want to import the map kit. So go ahead and type hashtag import with the uh, carrots here. Next, type map kit slash map kit dot h. As always, we have a, a, a notepad so you guys can uh, follow along of what I have in my head here. So next, just open up and close here and type mk map view star map view semicolon. Next, you want to type at property bracket non automatic, I think, comma retain close bracket IP outlet MK map view again and star map view semicolon. Uh, go to the next line and type IB action. Write set map. And don't want that. Just click out of that and semicolon. Go to your next line and type uh, IB action again. And this time, write get location. So, as we can see here, it's just telling that we are going to have map view. This is the map view that will it will be connected to. Uh, set map, which is the uh, satellite standard and hybrid, and the location. Now, this is optional for you guys. If you want to uh, show the user location in your app, uh, that is all uh, your choice but I will be showing you all of it so now we can go into the dot M and just under the implementation you want to write uh, at synthesize the property is map view of course the semicolon next you want to write IP action and it is the get location one so just type that and get rid of that. And not the uh, semicolon, but the opening and closing. Here, write map view. Of course, not with the uh, big, I mean, the capital uh, V. Actually, I do believe these have to be the same. So let's just go change that. And we will go with that one. Next, uh, it's going to be period show user location equals yes. Semicolon. Okay, that's it for that. Now let's go to the next line and 
I will scroll down for you guys there. Here, I'll space that. So here, it's IB Action again. Only this time it's going to be set map. And of course, the opening and closing. In here, you just want to write switch. And of course, open up uh, the three brackets here and close three brackets. One, two, three, okay. Um, in the first one here, you want to have UI segment control. The second one, you want to have sender. And actually right there, we need to have a star. And the uh, third one here is just dot selected segment index. The case is going to be set to zero for the first one. And the statements. So inside here, you just want to type map view dot map type equals mk map type standard. Just find standard. And of course, the semicolon. Now you want to uh, just copy this and paste it three times. Sorry, two more times. Edit the case to one and two. Change this to hybrid. Change this to satellite. And that's supposed to be two. And that's it. Now we can go into the uh, .xib file here and change the uh, the attributes so just go to the attributes tab select 3.5 make sure this is portrait and this we can uh, set to none now in the objects just make that bigger uh, find a toolbar so just drag in a uh, toolbar here and also a flexible space bar button item and scroll all the way up until you see segment control. Uh, go ahead and select that and add one more, so three. So we're going to name the first one uh, standard. We're going to name the second one uh, satellite. And we're going to name the third one hybrid. Okay, now what we need to do is connect it all. Sorry, not done. Uh, we have to drag in a map view, of course. So get the map view and just put it just above the uh, toolbar. Now we can go connect it. So click the connections tab and go to files owner. Next, drag the map view to the map view. Drag the get location to the item. We will change that name in a second. And set map to the segment control. This is the most important part if you want to have the standard, satellite, and hybrid. Make sure this is set to value change. That is so important. So we're going to name this location. Okay, now we everything is all connected up or should be. Yep. Now we can just go ahead and run this in the simulator. Actually, if you need the code, here it is in a little bit bigger of a screen before the simulator uh, comes up here. So there's the code right there. So just uh, there's the first view, pause here, and when you get down to the bottom, go there. I actually have my uh, phone plugged in, so let's just change that to the simulator. Of course, since yeah, we will be using iOS 6, it's going to be Apple Maps. Eh. 
So I don't know, know why you'd want to do that, but this is how you use the uh, Apple Maps here. So as you can see, here is all the maps, and of course it goes all the way around the world. Russia, China, Japan, Africa, South America, and North America. Um, here's our toolbar with our uh, button item and our segment control. So here's the standard view of North America. There's the satellite view. And of course there's the hybrid. Um, so let's change that back to standard. Now since I am running this on the uh, simulator it's going to uh, have the location set to uh, San Francisco which isn't too good but I ran this on the on my phone uh, by mistake and it shows my exact location which is good uh, well not exact because I'm using Apple Maps which suck but other than that that's how you get the Apple Maps inside your app um, I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe for all my future videos and the past and of course this one like the video and comment if you have any other video suggestions or Skype me at Kyle Greenlaw or you can search up Cairo Apps on uh, Facebook and leave a comment on there. Um, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.